This is the kit you need in order to be a birder. A bird book, or in this instance, an app on a phone to help you identify some of the more trickier of the feathered things that you might come across. And if you want to see the birds in really good detail, then you need a pair of binoculars. And if you want to take it a stage further and get even more detail, then a telescope is what you need. And by the way, the tea is optional. Now, the purpose of this film is to talk about optics for birding. And the first piece of equipment that people grab for to enhance their birding experience is a pair of binoculars. Most people think that they can pick up a pair of binoculars and use them just like in the movies. But the thing is, there's an art in using binoculars. Firstly, you need to make sure that the binoculars you choose suits you. I mean, it's like buying a car. You know, you want to get a model that you like, you want to get something that lasts, but also that fits within your budget. You wouldn't buy a car off the internet without seeing it first or taking it for a test drive. And it's the same with optics. Go to a reputable dealer, outlet, check a few brands, see how they feel in your hands and how they fit your face. And that's another thing. Make sure you can actually see properly through your binoculars. You know, a complete circle and not the figure of eight that you see in the movies like James Bond. Your binoculars have to be set up to your particular vision in order for you to get the best image without straining your eyes. So to get the perfect vision, you need to have both your eyes perfectly set. To do that, you close your left eye, you look through the right eye of your binocular, and you focus using the central focal wheel on a particular subject. I'm looking at a tree stump right now. And you focus without straining until you've got it perfect. Pucker. As soon as it's pucker, you then shut your right eye, open your left eye, and you pull out here in the central uh, focal wheel. You've got a bit here that you pull out, and you can twiddle that, and that focuses your left eye. So you do that until, again, you can see totally perfectly clear. You press that down, locks it in. Both eyes are absolutely superbly in focus. Now, some brands have their focal arrangements in the middle like this. Other brands have it around the actual eyepiece itself. So do whatever you need to do. But once you've got it set up, you're ready to rock. I've got mine set up like this. This is for people that don't wear glasses. But if you do wear glasses, put your eye cups in like that. Your glasses go right onto the glass. Using binoculars is all about hand-to-eye coordination. So don't expect to pick up binoculars for the first time and to find birds immediately. The secret is to find and then actually place the bird with your naked eye before trying to find it with your binoculars. But if you really want to take your birding to the next stage, then it's time to acquire a telescope. Scopes are really good when it comes to looking across vistas, but enclosed habitats like woodlands are not so good. So they're fairly easy to use. You just basically look through the lens like this. Don't strain your eyes, always use the focus to make sure that that's doing the work for you. But be warned, um, it's not easy to find birds using telescopes. You know, it does take a lot of practice. Right, you're set up. Let's get out there and find some birds. Thank you.